You know I'm about to go in on him, right? <laughs> YouTube, what is good? It's your boy Coast again, and um, <laughs> it's just one thing after another with Disney um, this month. <laughs> Oh man, where do I begin today? Um, so there's this guy called Data Racer on Twitter. He's uh, he's a really cool account. He's one of the accounts that uh, Admirable Andrea said that they would like to get rid of, <laughs> that they would like to attack and censor. Um, so anyway, I was cruising on Twitter and uh, came across this... Uh, hashtag uh save spider-man uh or whatever and I, I i first saw a video about this uh on the angry then I, I then saw a video on this uh subject on angry joe's channel um about disney uh about sony pulling the rights for the spider-man character from disney <laughs> Oh man, I was like, no, it can't be really like, that he that he was just like freaking out about it, and I was just like, yes. if this actually happens, like, <laughs> I, I will bust a load. But um, I heard about it, and then I was just like, no, I had to go on Twitter and see what's going on. Went on Twitter, whole bunch of people tweeting about about uh spider-man coming possibly coming back to sony uh and being taken out of the out of the the mcu <laughs> and a whole bunch of whining and people like no sony this and that you're evil you're bad and i'm like are you serious nigga like disney disney hello disney <laughs> so i'm not sure the specifics of the deal uh and what went awry um apparently sony is disappointed with disney um, they said that they wanted to split the thing 50-50, and Disney was like, no. <laughs> and so Sony was like, well, screw you, we're pulling the rights to the character. And, uh, they're not happy with that. Um, but let's take a little look at, uh, Data Racer's, uh, tweet feed. He's been posting some interesting tweets. So, uh, ever since the news broke, um... They have been there's there have been two hashtags going around save Spider Man from Disney and uh, the save Spider Man Spider Man from Sony is now creeping up there and uh, Data Racer is over here exposing these these shills these bots or whatever um, they're they're probably not people they're just bots um, posting the same thing boosting this hashtag just to get it trending. Let's go over to what he says. Now, Save Spider-Man from Sony is trending, and the Sony attack tweets are getting 5K to 20K likes at the last three to six hours. Disney's pulling ops to place social media pressure on Sony to fold. Walt Disney would fire Crooked Bob Eager on the spot if he was still around today. And let's look at exactly what he was retweeting. Hashtag Save Spider Man from Sony. Sign the petition. Why Sony? Why? Um, and all these tweets are the same. Look at this. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can. get a closer look all of these tweets are like the same or very similar tony St tony stark did not travel back in time to get the infinity stones just so sony could could f it up by taking spider-man out of the mcu you can't just take tom holland after we've fallen in love with him sony we are letting go of spider-man from the mcu me thanos blah blah, blah. Tony Stark didn't effing risk his life <laughs> in Endgame for Disney and Sony just uh, Sony just uh, removed Spider-Man. Tony literally went in and changed his mind. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, where was the one that he had? 
where it was like basically all the same. Look at the, they're all they're just tweeting the same pictures. How? How do you tweet these same four pictures if you're not a bot? These are all different, quote unquote, different accounts. They're all tweeting this picture. Ooh, my Spidey, come on, MCU, take him from Sony now. But there's, hold on, there's one where he's just like, Sony, yeah, yeah, the, there's one where he's just like, uh, tweet, they're just tweeting the same, same thing over and over and over again. Hang on one second. Let me see if I can pull it up. Come on. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's not a bot army. It's just passionate fans. Yeah, okay. I said no one. Now, these are actually bots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here, here, tons of identical... T okay, so Disney demanded that Sony... Hang on. Hang on. Disney demanded Sony give them a 50-50 deal for Spider-Man, okay? Sony wanted to keep the current agreement and went public about it. Disney has launched a bot army to attack Sony tonight using Save Spider-Man. Tons of identical tweets coming from crooked Disney ops. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait, hold up. Now let's look. This is the one I was talking about. Let's look at this. Each one of them, these are like 20 different accounts tweeting the same thing. Tony Stark did not travel back in time to get the Infinity Stones just so Sony could F it up by taking Spider-Man out of the MCU. Tony Stark did not travel back in time to get the Infinity Stones just so Sony could F it up by... Tony Stark did not travel... Tony... T like, like, they're all tweeting the same picture and the same thing. These are all bots. Tony Stark did not travel back in time to just like a little variation. Brutus Maximus, beast of whatever, Britain. Tony Stark did not travel back in time to. Tony Stark did not. And they're all tweeting the same like Tony Stark with a middle finger up picture. These are all bots pretending to be people. This is not a legit hashtag. This is being astroturfed into existence by Disney. Okay. This is not a legit movement. This is just Disney astroturfing this hashtag into existence. So it's just funny to see how desperate they are, you know, when the screws are on Disney. And thank you to Data Racer. Shout out to this guy for being on top of it and uh, to these other people. Uh, harvest this and toxic thread who are exposing these bots and uh just how fake and astroturfed this movement is Wait, okay broken english bot tweeting for disney confirmed i don't hear him this twitter not radio <laughs> 10 plus years all for nothing brutus maximus beast of british God bless Grocer's daughter? What? Alright, anyway. Who's paid you to tweet that asking for a friend? <laughs> he goes, what? <laughs> you heard him. Who paid you to tweet that? No, I didn't hear him this Twitter not <laughs> radio. <laughs> Honey, are you 12, 10, elementary? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This dude is just exposing them. <laughs> Honey, are you 12, 10 elementary? You want to get your mom to answer this question? Sweet Pea, are you, you, you a Russian? Oh, a Russian or a Trump bot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, but you are. This is such a childish tactic. Clearly lacking in human interaction understanding. <laughs> Clearly someone's a bot here, and I don't think it's me considering I'm not 
avoiding the question and spell the word sweet sweet pea. Oh, sweat pea. <laughs> Never said you was sweet pea when was what I was what in typed wrong was going to write pig. <laughs> what? Never said you was sweet P was what in typed wrong was <laughs> whatever this guy is this is clearly a bot this is clearly a paid a paid show or a bot or whatever you want to call them uh, by Disney and uh, this is my guess is that Disney also pressures other people to sell their uh, their products in this manner they also I wouldn't be surprised if they pressured Lucas to sell Star Wars by posting all these reg by making it seem like everyone hated the prequels when that simply was not the case. It, w it hey, it, it wouldn't be too far fetched. Stranger things have happened, like Epstein's death. <laughs> like, I I'm not gonna go into Epstein's death. We all know that was a murder. was a hired hit but anyway remember those empty captain marvel showings and theater managers reporting mysterious soul tickets not being used this is from way back in march theater manager says they had abnormal pre-sale no shows for captain marvel's thursday through saturday opening 25 prepaid tickets bought for each screening none attended 570 shows with no refund. Captain Marvel Challenge. <laughs> Jesus, man. And you think that Disney will not is below using bots to boost to boost this hashtag? <laughs> you got another thing coming, man. But anyway, it was just hilarious to see the salt. The absolute salt from some people. And they don't realize that Disney is the bad guy in this situation. <laughs> and really, I, I've been saying this for a while. Sony has handled the character Spider-Man in a much better way than Disney ever could. Disney has, uh, I mean, at least, thank God, we will not be seeing gay, woke, SJW, Spider-Man on screen. Thank the Lord, because I'm getting sick of this woke bullshit, like, it, it, it's it's pissing me off so much, and this is really, really, really all I gotta say, <laughs> All I gotta say about um about this subject <laughs> for a little Iron Man Jr. I call him a little Iron Man Jr. <laughs> he's not Spider Man. He's Iron Man Jr. Okay, that's that's how I feel about Spider Man in the MCU. They took Spider Man, they stripped him of everything that made him Spider Man, and tried to make him Iron Man Jr. It's n it's not happening. It just doesn't work. Okay, now Spider Man um, is completely dependent upon Iron Man. His entire story is just just depends full stop on uh, Tony Stark's good graces. Um, and it never used to be like that. You know, S Peter Parker is Spider Man. He is his own person. He's a kid trying to find his way in the world, and he's not Iron Man's cheerleader or sidekick, and that's how they've been treating him so far. Like, he's not Iron Man's fanboy. You know, he never was. Peter was always trying, had his own problems, and that's the thing. This Peter Parker in the MCU has, he has no real problems, and, um, you know, I couldn't quite put my finger on it before uh, or find the words to summarize accurately. Uh, what was wrong with the new Spider-Man? Um, until I actually uh, watched one uh, High Top Films, his videos, uh, where he, he pretty much aptly sums up uh, 
how many people feel uh, Spider-Man uh, is being wrongly portrayed in the MCU. And he do, he he does it eloquently. He has uh, he he's a huge Spider Man fan. Grew up with Spider Man. I grew up with Spider Man and Batman as well. Um, but he puts it into into words uh, better than most of us can. And he analyzes the Raimi trilogy in depth. Uh, if you haven't by now, you should probably get on over to his channel, see some of his videos um, on Spider Man and. Uh, and learn something, <laughs> but it's, it's like he has, he has no problems, and Peter Parker, what made him relatable is that he always had problems, he was a white guy, but he was poor, it's like not every white guy is living in, in some high rise, in, in some, some, you know, mansion or whatever, he, he, he was relatable, he was the working class, you know, hero, he was the, he was trying to make it, he was trying to, get up in the world you know he was smart but he was not always successful um he made mistakes but um at the end of the day he the thing about what separated him was his moral fiber he um what his uncle instilled in him was so strong uh that um that sense of responsibility and taking responsibility for your actions was so strong that he uh, that he never lost it. You know, he he it always was a central aspect of his character, and they they don't they don't go into that at all with uh, with MCU Spider Man. It's all flash and no substance. It's oh look we have Spider Man and now he's he's teaming up with Stark in this new high tech suit. It's not about responsibility. It's not about uh, the characters that are central to his mythos, like Gwen Stacy and, and Mary Jane. Uh, it's not even about, you know, the the Osbournes. The Osbournes haven't even made an appearance yet. You know, it, it's just Peter Parker and uh, and race uh, switched, uh, you know, race swapped to Mary Jane. Um, <laughs> and his new uh, band of ethnic token characters. Uh <laughs> <laughs> going around in high school. I mean, I mean, he's kind of bullied, but like, not really. And, um, he's, I mean, J. Jonah Jameson is, is like, uh, basically they, they made him a parody of, of Alex Jones. I saw that end credit scene. He doesn't face any, any real consequences in uh in either of the mcu movies um that he's that he was a central figure in except like towards the end of uh of far from home you know wh where his identity is revealed and you know that, that it kind of sucks to see that spider-man is being treated this way the hulk is is being basically shit on by marvel uh even though he's one of the strong he, if not the strongest characters physically you know, in the MCU, um, but they've been doing him dirty, and let's not even talk about the X-Men, the X-Men have just been, been reamed by Disney, you know, uh, Disney Marvel, I, good, <laughs> anyway, it's your boy Coast, I'm just, like, amazed that, that, uh, Disney is stooping to this level to, uh, well, I don't know how surprising it is to me that Disney would pull this, but they are they are uh, paying or like they are paying for bots or whatever to uh, to get on and tweet the same hashtag over and over again. Um, this is not a real movement. It's an astroturfed movement. So if you see this hashtag, you know, just call it out and shout out to Data Racer and all the other people who expose these uh, bots and these shills. Um, you know, it's your boy Coast. So I'm, I'm, I'm laughing my ass off right now at Disney. Um, it's, it's really kind of pathetic if you think about it. All right. Um, force be with you guys. Peace out. Raise it up. Raise it up.